living with your partner live in relationships they are very common these days and uh, the specific term for this in law is common law partnership common law partnership is becoming very common these days and there are certain aspects that you can benefit from if you are in a common law relationship in Canadian immigration Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Dhruv. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant at our firm FHA and Immigration Inc. We assist all prospective immigrants with their immigration uh, to Canada. Uh, so if you're looking for any assistance, you can feel free to contact us. Our contact information is right here. You can email us, call us, WhatsApp us, and we would be happy to help you. If you want to talk to me personally about your case, you can feel free to book a consultation. The link is given in the description below. What is common law partnership? So the simple definition of common law partnership is if you have lived with your partner in a conjugal relationship for at least one year continuously, then you become common law partners. Now, what is the main word here? The main word is living together with your partner as conjugal partners. Conjugal partner basically means that you are living as if you were married. You are not married legally, but you are living together as married couple. What that means is that you are exclusively seeing each other and you are in a relationship and you're not seeing anyone else. Now, once you complete one year of cohabitation with your partner as a conjugal partners, then you become common law partners. And once you become common law partners, same as a spouse is able to sponsor their partner or um, they are able to help with work permits. You can also sponsor your common law partner for work permits or even for permanent residence. So the big myth that you have to be married in order to apply for spousal sponsorship or spousal open work permit is not true. You can still do it if you're common law partners. And what do you need to prove your common law partnership? Let's talk about that. The first important piece of document is a statutory declaration. This is the IMM form that you need to fill out and sign in front of either a notary public or a commissioner of oath or commissioner for taking affidavits. If you are completing this form, you need assistance, you can contact us and we can uh, administer your signing of this form because we are commissioner for taking affidavits. Now this form basically showcases your dates in terms of from and to date of your cohabitation. And uh, it, it declares to the government of Canada, uh, specifically IRCC, that you are common law partners. Apart from this form, you need to prove that you've been living together. Now, how can you prove that? You need to prove that you're living together by showcasing address proof. This address proof can be your driver's license, so you and your partner's driver's license with the same address. Could be the utility bills for uh, the last one year or whatever one year window that you're using that showcase that both of you were on that account or uh, that both of you were living at the same address. A lease agreement or a house ownership agreement uh, or house ownership document which shows that uh, you were both living together. Bank account statements which showcase again the same address. It could be a joint bank account or it could be separate bank accounts but both have the same address on those bank account statements. Car insurance document that showcases both of you on the policy or uh, ideally both of you on the policy and the address as the address that you're claiming you've been living at uh, for the past year where you are claiming common law partnership. So with all these documents, be it your lease agreement, utility bills, bank statements, car insurance documents, along with some of your proof uh, of relationship, could be some photographs uh, of you guys being together, uh, you can prove your common law partnership. Once you have proven your common law partnership, you can apply for uh, a spousal open work permit. If you have a common law partner who has uh, a work permit uh, and based on that you want to extend your work permit, you can. It's very common these days for uh, folks to be in live-in relationships and this is a tool at your disposal in case uh, you want, uh, you're not yet ready to get married, uh, but uh, there is a permit that you want to renew or you even want to do, uh, you want to sponsor your partner for permanent residence, you can as common law partners, there is no issue with that. So that's it for the video. I hope this video gave you a good primer on common law partnership. To summarize, you are in common law partnership if you have lived with your partner in a conjugal relationship for at least one year. 
uh, to prove that you need statutory declaration, some proof of address, be it address, uh, be it bank statements, utility bills, lease agreements, etc. As common law partners, you can sponsor your partner, you can sponsor them for PR, for open work permits, etc. etc. In case you have any further questions or you are concerned whether you fulfill the criteria of common law partnership, you can always contact us. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you are notified about any new video that we upload. We do upload quite frequently about Canadian immigration and any updates that come from IRCC. In case you have any questions, feel free to contact us. The contact information is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.